Radioactive decay is an example of quantum tunnelling in action. Let's take the emission of an alpha particle from polonium-212. If we plot the potential as a function of distance from the centre of the polonium nucleus, we get a region of low potential energy inside the nucleus, where the strong force is keeping the nucleons together. Outside the nucleus, the Coulomb repulsion between the nucleus and the alpha particle leads to a high potential that falls away with distance. Now, how would an alpha particle behave in such a situation? The red dotted line represents the energy of the alpha particle. Classically, the alpha particle would never escape from the nucleus as it wouldn't have enough energy to overcome the Coulomb repulsion barrier. But since the alpha particle has quantum properties, Inside the nucleus, it has wave-like behaviour. When this wave hits the barrier, it turns into an evanescent or exponentially decaying wave. When the wave leaves the barrier on the other side, it resumes its oscillations, but with a lower amplitude. Polonium is one of many alpha sources. The narrower the source's potential barrier, the less the wave decays whilst escaping and the greater the probability that an alpha particle will be able to tunnel out of the nucleus. This corresponds to a shorter half-life, as it takes less time on average for a successful emission.